guys, um, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be, uh, trying this, uh, shell build, it's Duck Dan's Nightmare Shell. I'm, and, 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 just to let you know, I'm always doing this shell builds just for fun, not expecting any, uh, showcase of them anyway. But yeah, so, I'm just, like, yeah, this is how it looks like, there's a lot of diagonal pieces, like, kind of cutouts and, like, bump outs and... But yeah, let's get right into it. So yeah, just rotate it because I want. I know, yeah, just like, uh, uh, and I decided to put the main entrance that place. And yeah, I also had to figure out how to put the stairs because obviously, stairs first of all doesn't go in diagonal bits, but I also wanted to fit nicely. But uh, it was kind of hard. So uh, it, it takes me a while to like get the exact location where I want it. So. I think I eventually just decided to put it kind of in the center of the house. Like, I think like that's my... Yeah, I think that's how I did it. So, yeah. So, I had to build it around that. So, I decided I just wanted to have a kitchen, like, near the entranceway. So, like, and also, I put some lights so you guys can see. And I think I used... Uh, okay, I think this all mostly is, like, uh, from cottage living. And some also, like, the stairs is from seasons so yeah there's a few packs to it and at first i wanted to have it like kind of wrapped around like that but it was too much so i said just have that around there with the fridge and such and like i decided that side will be more like a pantry though that will change a little bit yeah like that and the, i actually don't exactly remember how i laid it out Oh no, I decided I'd put a, uh, never mind, I put a, um, not a fridge, um, stove over there. And yeah, also the hood goes there as well. And I just added that bit, which made, which was nice, it fit perfect. It was not, oh, it, it was a bit bumpy out because apparently it had to kind of sort of have to go inwards because it was kind of sticking out in the back. But yes, yeah, so also had the back door there. On that diagonal piece. And then yeah. I kind of used that small one by one. As sort of like a chimney. Though, though it uh, technically sort of ends. On the first floor. So yeah. And. Uh, that was like a perfect fit for a desk. So I just put a desk there. So uh, some, like they can work on there. And uh, yeah. And that one by one was like perfect for maybe like a one. One by one bookcase. So I just put that. And yeah, that originally I was going to use that one, though I felt like that's too small, so I eventually change it. But for now, I keep that. And yeah, now I'm just like placing some of these windows, though I wanted that smaller because I want it to fit that small space. So yeah, I, and I also changed the color midway apparently to blue, because I didn't want to use the green every time again. I wanted to like spice it up. A little bit. And yeah, so I decided to use that table as kind of like breakfast nook area. And then put a bigger desk. I mean, not a desk, a table for the actual dining. And I do also change all the swatches to blue to kind of have it a similar vibe around. And yeah, now I'm suddenly... Oh yeah, and then also I put that small like... Ha I was originally going to have three uh, stuff, like, like a full bath. But like... It's too tight, so I decided to, like, um, no, I'm not going to do that, and just have two things. Just a toilet. So it's like a half bath. And then, yeah. I'm just, like, swap, sw having the swatch sort of, like, white wood tone. So I do change that uh, stairway to white, I believe, later. But for now, it's just there. And then also, I kind of cut that out so that it's actually, like, a open... Because it was a weird cutout before that. And yeah, I, I was able to fit two bedrooms and two bathrooms, actually. So there will be actually four bathrooms. I mean, no, not four. What am I saying? Three bathrooms and two bedrooms in this build. So yeah, uh, I tried to find like that whitish tone, but I couldn't. So I, I tried at least that, that light, light wood tone, which worked. And I also put that sort of matching um, pole. I, I, I can't remember. Uh, beam. What, what, what that thing was called yet. 
And yeah, so um, right now it doesn't look as if there's going to be another bathroom, but there will be. And I actually do fit it pretty well, I guess, in a weird nooky area. If that makes sense. But yeah, and just like doing just basic tiling and plaster. And then just same with flooring, just like rotate it also. And yeah, I put it back out so that I can actually put a double bed. I don't, I want it. I, I, I like decided to put that one because I want to maybe have like a, like a sort of a big like kind of counter space in the back, which I kind of did with these uh, countertops, which I eventually choose. I, I'm just like trying to see which one matches. And this one was nice. The count, the island piece from the cottage living was okay. And yeah, I just also like those like triangular bits. Most of like on, at least on top, it didn't make sense, so I just like closed it off, which should be fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not allowed to change the outer walls, but I'm not allowed to add walls inside anyway. So yeah, that's what I did, and added a laptop desk there. Again, sort of a blue swatch in the parents' bedroom, and yeah, I decided to sort of divide it off here. I do change it a lot of times because it was like hard to fit a lot of bathroom stuff, so. There's a lot of fiddling, but yeah. At first it looks like that, but it will change. So yeah, I'm just like getting all the uh, um, bathroom um, stuff. The furniture. So yeah, I put a, I think I put a shower in the, the en suite. And I put the actual tub. So you can do either or. Like shower in, the, in that bathroom or like. Yeah, and then also here, you can see, I'm trying to figure out, like, sizing. It's too tight, so I actually... Do I leave it like that? Yeah, no, yeah, it do actually expand it a little bit more, so that I guess it sort of works the best. Um, the, yeah, and then I just decided to just make it all square again, so it fits. And then I bumped that out. <laughs> and then, like, that's like... And then, um... The stupid thing is I forgot to put a dorsal... In this video, I probably didn't fix it. I don't know if I fixed it at the end of this video, but if you were to actually play it, it will be best to move that dresser to somewhere else and then put the door where that dresser it currently is. Because it was a good fit for a dresser, but it wasn't. Yeah, and then for the kid's toddler bedroom, it's a bit tight, but at least I put some stuff and it's a purple swatch. And yeah, I'm just like fixing around here, making it look nicer, I guess. With some more windows where it would be fitting. And also I need some windows on above. So I just add a few windows upstairs. Also small ones there. It's like too tight. And yeah. And yeah, I also added that tub. Midway, I guess. Oh uh, Yeah, and just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going all over the place. But at least I'm putting the windows where I want it. So yeah, I... So for some of them, I did line them up so it ma matches the bottom, the first floor and the second floor. And yeah, the roofing was really a little bit of a nightmare for me. Yeah, I, I didn't really care about that weird looks that much. But yeah, it works. Yeah, that part wasn't working. I think I... I don't know if I... I think I kept that one because... Yeah, I could have probably put an octagonal, but no. It's too much. And yeah... <laughs> Some parts I just left it because, yeah, I was like, this is like regular pentagon apparently, which, and then I tried that one, it didn't work, so I just kept, I think a lot of it, these weird parts, I decided to just keep it empty. And yeah, I decided to kind of extend this one, so it's like, uh, whatchamacallit, it's like kind of a deck roof, I guess, somewhat. Uh, I, th I think I I tried using that one. I think I don't know if I used it at the end. It didn't work. So yeah, I deleted that and I uh, just tried to blend it in a little bit as much as possible. I think I, and then I just like left it as it is because like I couldn't do any more. And yeah, and then there's a like, weird, yeah, and it was really tough roofing this. Yeah, it's weird a bit, but I mean, but and then I decided to just add like this um, balcony space, and I and I mean I can add flooring. I'm not adding actually wall, and it's just fences. So yeah, 
Oh no, no, never mind. I decided to just make it smaller because that's kind of a chimney. So I, I actually do put the chimney piece there, which sort of makes sense. Though I guess if you're standing on that balcony, you'll be kind of inhaling the smoke. Ooh. But yeah, and I put on the foundation. I think I always put on the foundation because I want to add porch. Though you can always like use a uh, platform. Rather than porch, but I mean, I'm 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 really un not comfortable with foundation. I mean, porches. I mean, found, uh, platforms. I mean, so yeah, I just always use this. But yeah, it, and that weird corner was like annoying. Like I can't really, so I had to like kind of destroy it. But I I didn't remove the wall. I just had to do that so that I can add that platform there. And yeah, so um, I. Oh yeah, no. What I did is I, I didn't want to make it. I didn't want to add stairs because having stairs, it, so that I I had the platform or not platform, foundation. Or I do I do eventually still add it there, but originally my goal was my, my idea was like not have it high so that I don't need stairs. But I mean, I just decided to have stairs because it was weird anyway. And also I think some parts I might have missed to add. Uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, like the wall panels on the outside, so you might have to fix that too. Yeah, and some parts those roofs kind of clip inwards because apparently if you put like those fences around those stairs when you make those open, for some reason the roof thinks that it's outside on the inside. If that makes sense, so I had to like fiddle around, and yeah, you can see there it's clipping too much. So I had to fix that as well, and I, I what I did there, in the, on that end, which you'll see in a sec, is I add platform in the middle, and then I just like yeah, and you can see oh well, uh no I decided to put it back yeah that size, and then I just like raise up the platform a little bit, and it, it sort of looks like a roof. Not I didn't color it, but it's because there's apparently no flat roof color palette which doesn't make sense and yeah so that at least that side worked a little bit <laughs> that kind of bump out on the master bedroom side i couldn't roof it so i left it <laughs> it's a bit weird but oh well it's, i couldn't oh yeah oh i, I guess i should have realized it so at some time at some point at some point for some reason the stairway kind of disappeared so yeah you can see this i i, I and then i didn't realize until later apparently that it disappeared. And yeah, now I'm just like landscaping while I'm real not even realizing the stairs disappeared. I don't know if I put back I do put it back. I don't know if it was in this time lapse. But I do put it back. And yeah, this is sort of a a small farmhouse, not a big one. Uh, and I do put, I think I put, yeah, I put, also put the barn there and then the small chicken coop there. And then I move this over to the side. And I actually fence this uh, whole thing with this stone. Uh, like just about there. And then I also put like this wooden fence around this uh, farm, bar, I guess, sort of to kind of prevent the chickens and animals from going in. And ruining the crops in a sense. I mean, obviously, I don't think Sims 4 has like that thing, but I did that anyway. And then some bushes around, some flowers. I think the landscaping was okay. It was like not too. And then I, I, I was like, this was a weird kind of round bit. So I decided I'm just going to add a fountain. It <laughs> so, might not make sense, but I mean, I, I mean, and then for some reason, the fountain decided to raise the train up. And, and I realized I did it starting at the foundation. So I started somewhere else and it worked and yeah i just added like that originally i added that big fountain but i decided to add some fishes so i removed that and yeah also i i think i also wanted to add a gate so i just or i don't know oh wait i think i removed do i remove it during this one or yeah I, yeah i removed it because it was like weird like your entry you have to enter through your crops to get to your backyard like your main area so that didn't work, so I just removed that. And yeah, uh, also now I'm starting to color the palettes, or like the walls. And also get some better lights than the ones I've had. I decided to just 
go with the saucer with the very basic lights. Uh, and yeah, oh, I accidentally deleted the bathroom a bit times. And yeah, I also forgot to add a coffee table, so I add that. I also always this raise this TV up there. It fits perfectly. And yeah, and here I just add a few paintings here and there so that it doesn't look so bland. I also apparently forgot to add like plants again, like not much. And then also I add sort of pet stuff here. Yep, and this is where I realized apparently they decided to remove my stairs. So I put it back where it was with that same color swatch. And apparently I had the same color swatch for the the stairs itself, so it worked out, I guess. And yeah, I added that pet bed. I don't know if it's functional. You might want to test if the bed is usable. But yeah. Okay, so let's now do the tour on this shell build. It has, bit, yeah, and a bit of weirdness. Uh to it and also missing some pallets apparently but yes yeah, so uh there's the kitchen over there with some breakfast nook i guess and then there's the living space up which uh, i'm trying to rotate around yep so yeah and there's the dining area and i think it looks okay i, I was able to fit two bedrooms so it was nice i think but yeah so and there's the half bath down there and up on the upstairs, there's two bedrooms and two baths. One's en suite. But yes, yeah, so there's the ma main bathroom. And then there's the parents' bedroom, which is nice. Uh, I think, maybe... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do I realize it here? Oh, no, I don't, <laughs> I guess. I did this recording. Oh, no, actually, I do re realize it here, I guess. I think, yep. This is like... Nope, that... Yeah, and I have to... But I think in my gallery, it's with that not moved. So like, if it's not moved, then that's how you should probably fix it. But yeah. And also, I forgot to paint some of these wallpapers, apparently. Or like the tiles. So I fix that. So that also is something that might need to be fixed in the actual build. And yeah, so... And there's the toddler's room. <laughs> it's lacking like toy boxes and stuff. Maybe, maybe instead of a desk, you might want to probably put a... Maybe like a toddler's toy box or like a castle or any of those like playable stuff. Or like maybe you can probably add some like playground stuff in the backyard. There's space for that, I think. <laughs> and yeah, and again, like the the world itself is a bit of sad. But like there's like, I mean, yeah, before that, let's just like talk about how I put a lot of farm stuff around with the chicken coop and the animal shed. So we can actually play in this. It's like a playable actual area. And yeah, so that's all of that bill. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And <laughs> make sure you subscribe. As apparently most of my viewers are not subscribed. But see you guys in the next video. Bye.